Okay, just an FYI, spiders are out. <laughs> hey everyone, time for another monkey in the wild. Now this is gonna be a little bit different in that I'm going to be combining a couple of different trips out. The last one I posted was when I went to Stumpy Lake, but also that day I went to Pleasure House Point and I got some great footage. And then I went again and got some great footage and I'm going now and I hope to get some great footage and some shots. So I got a ton of pictures and I'm gonna go out now. It's 11.39 on Saturday morning. So we're gonna hit up Pleasure House Point for a little bit and hopefully it isn't crazy windy because we all know how much I love that. Now I don't have the 200 to 600. I'm, I'm using this 500 millimeter, which is a lot smaller than the 200 to 600. So I might not get as much of that sail action like I did with the 200 to 600, because when it's windy like this, I usually just didn't even bother to go out because the wind would be blowing the lens and, and I would be moving all over the place and all my shots sucked. So we're gonna see how that goes. But for now, let's get the Pleasure House Point and see some birdies. Okay, everyone, so I decided to end this video sitting in the library uh, just because I didn't finish it when I was out at Pleasure House Point or at Three Ships. I decided not to put any footage in. I went and looked at all of my footage. I mean, other than this footage. I'm talking about like when I was shooting from the A7R5 with that Sigma 500 on there. To me, it's unwatchable. I was going to show you how unwatchable it is, but it was just painful. I'm not putting it out there. I, I'm just going to figure that a Sigma lens does not work as well with a Sony camera as a Sony lens works with a Sony camera. Now, granted, today it was incredibly windy. And you know how I've said, even with the 200 to 600, it just blows all over the place because that, that gigantic lens with the uh, lens hood and everything, just it just catches the, the wind like a sail. It's been a great week because I was only on the road for two days as awful as it may have been, but I was able to get out here and get some shots. Yeah, the monkey is back in the wild and I'm pretty happy about it. I really hope you enjoyed the pictures. I know I enjoyed taking them and I will end this as I always do. Get off the couch, get off your ass, get outside, go for a walk. Doesn't matter if you take pictures or video or anything, just get out there and enjoy nature and being outside because sometimes you can't and when you can't, it sucks. And I know that. So thanks for joining me and hopefully I will see you soon in another Monkey in the Wild. Bye-bye.